excuse us for this brief interruption. We welcome you to enjoy watching all our 500 songs posted below, but you probably won't learn how to play them here or any of the song tutorials on YouTube, at least not that easily. Why? Because when you are watching the video, the eye can only look at one part of the screen at a time, and following both hands on anything but the most simple song is difficult. To make the songs easier to learn, they will need to be broken down into parts and watched in slow motion. You will also need something written down to take to the piano, either sheet music, which we have, or you can use our replacement to sheet music we developed called word notation. This word notation is the notes written out in letter form, copied onto a Microsoft Word graph, which is 100 times easier to learn and read. If you know the alphabet from A to G, you're halfway there to knowing how to use it. Follow the chapter markers at the end of this video to see the song played in slow motion and to see an example of the word notation. If you're new to the piano or tried learning but are frustrated with the slow progress or difficulty, watch the video below or click the link to our website and find out more about the secret reasons some players learn to play piano without the struggle. Enjoy the song. This is St. Louis Blues by Bessie Smith. The word graph is made up of four rows and 20 columns and follows the section of songs as played in the parts. The right hand is on the second row in black type and the left hand on the third row in blue type. What octave the note is played is written on the top row for the right hand and bottom row for the left, both in green type. At the top of the page are the symbols for the rhythm, where an underlined letter means the note is held longer and when shown in red indicates the note is played faster. You can learn more about this notation by going up to the main menu and selecting training videos and watching the how to use the word notation video.